Good morning. Let's come together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. We celebrate today the feast of Martha and Mary and Lazarus. As we do so, let's acknowledge our sins and make a home for the Lord within our hearts. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us with God our Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Mass is offered today for Andre Lanou. Almighty ever-living God, whose Son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha, Mary, and Lazarus' house as a guest, grant, we pray, that through their intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and sisters, we may merit to be received by you to the halls of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but he has loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we live, if we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, if we have seen and testify, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son in as Savior of the world. Whoever, whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love. And whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. The word of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. I will extol the Lord. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. 
Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the person who takes refuge in him. I will bless the Lord. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones, for naught is lacking to those who fear him. The great, the great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for, no, for, want for no good thing. I will bless the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many of the Jews had come to Mary and Martha to comfort them about their brother Lazarus, who had died. When Martha heard that the Lord was coming, she went to meet him while Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And anyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Today's feast in uh, books and in most of the print is always, uh, I think even on the calendar, the Feast of St. Martha. But several years ago, Saint uh, or Pope John, the, Pope John, Pope Francis, <laughs> asked that we celebrate this feast not just for Martha, but also his, her sister Mary and brother Lazarus. That it was all three individuals who welcomed Jesus into their home, and all three of them who were faithful friends of Jesus. You know, three times in the Gospels we see Jesus going to the home of Martha and Mary. And there's uh, something quite beautiful about that. Their friendship with him is, is so important. He trusted them. He was always at home with them. You know, and we just read a couple weeks ago about Martha and her uh, being the one who was busy and anxious and upset about many things, preparing the meal while Mary sat at the feet of Jesus. And of course, we always talk about how we need to be both Martha and Mary. We need to be people of prayer, people who sit at the feet of Jesus. And, and then that should lead us to action. But it's interesting today, very consistently, Mary sat at home while Martha is the one who went out to meet the Lord. And Martha almost seems to say, you know, in a kind of a feisty way, you should have been here, Jesus. <laughs> Lazarus wouldn't have died. But in that beautiful, feisty way, she also comes to a wonderful, wonderful profession of faith. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God. I think what Martha and Mary and Lazarus teach us is that our friendship with Jesus can lead us to a deeper faith. That we come to know ever more the love of God. The first reading says the same thing. If we have come to know and believe in God's love for us, then God remains in us. His love remains within us. St. John says beautifully, God is love. And in human friendship, in human love, we come to know ever more fully our God. Hey, Martha and Mary and Lazarus can teach us today as we celebrate their feast day how to be friends with Jesus how to come to know how deeply God loves each and every one of us and how to learn that by our friendship and our love for one another.
Let's stand and pray. With profound faith in the Lord of life, we bring our prayers. That every grace revealed among the baptized might find a place in Christ's household, we pray to the Lord. That a welcoming table may greet all who come in need of protection and care, we pray to the Lord. That the busyness of work may be sustained by the quietness of rest and prayer, we pray to the Lord. That the limits of sickness may allow time to listen to the one who heals every ill, we pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, that they may experience the same love that Christ had for Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Let's pause for our particular prayers and personal intentions and for the many needs of our world and our faith community. We pray to the Lord. Hear us, God, our household. Welcome us to your table. By the example of Martha, may we be busy to set a place for the weary, the hungry, and the poor, that with Mary we may welcome Christ, listen at his feet. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we've received the bread we offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we've received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Amen. As we proclaim your wonders, In St. Martha and Mary and Lazarus, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as their homage of love was pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly it is right and just, it is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and you offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayer sustains us in all that we do. So with all the angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful thanks we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. In the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, with all the clergy, religious, with all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters and all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with St. Thomas More, with Martha and Mary and Lazarus, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Trusting in the love of God, we now can pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sinfulness, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share that peace with each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Martha said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world so that following the example of St. Martha and Mary and Lazarus, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace.